Hello everyone! How are you today? I am your teacher, Jem Raimon, and today we will discuss the what's more part of your lesson 2 of your module 3 in Mathematics 6, quarter 4. Hi everyone! Welcome to my channel, Tutorial by Sir Raimon. My name is Mr. Jem Raimon Ischen, Master Teacher 2 from Escalante Central Elementary School. Okay, direction? Read and solve the following problems. Number one, Ruena's family made a record of their three-month electric consumption. The initial reading was 1,476 kilowatt hour. The following table shows the succeeding monthly readings. So you are given here the three-month consecutive for the electric bill or electric consumption of Ruena's family. Now, before we answer the questions for number one, let us solve first the consumption or the electrical consumption of Rowena's family per month for us to easily answer the questions for item number one. You are given here the initial reading of 1476 or 1476 kilowatt hour, okay? Now, we are going to solve for the electric consumption in January, February, and March. Of course, we will use the initial reading no? before we get the electrical consumption for the January bill. Okay? So, let's start. So, we have here 1532 or 1,532 kilowatt hour. This is the present reading. Okay? This is the present reading for the month of January. Of course, for us to determine the electric consumption, we will use this previous reading. We presume that 1,476 is the December reading no, of their electric consumption. So we will subtract it. We will use 1,476 kilowatt hour as the previous reading. And after that, we will subtract. 2 minus 6, how much? Yes, borrow. We will borrow 1 from 3. So the 3 will become 2 and the 1 will be added to 2 and that makes it 12. 12 minus 6 is? Yes, that's 6. 2 minus 7 cannot be, so we will borrow 1 from 5. So 5 will become 4. So 1 from 5 will be transferred to 2. That makes it 12. So 12 minus 7 is? 5. 4 minus 4 is 0, so 1 minus 1 is 0. So, no need to write 0 before 5. So, the total consumption, electric consumption for the month of January is 56 kilowatt hour. So, ito na yung answer natin for January. Next, let's go to February. Present reading would be 1,597. Ito yon, And then, we will use this reading as... Uh, the previous reading, which is in the month of January, so 1,532 kilowatt hour. So, we will subtract para makuha natin yung electrical consumption sa, sa month ng February. So, 7 minus 2 is 5. 9 minus 3 is 6. So, yung kilowatt hour consumed for February is 65 kilowatt hour. Okay? Next, for the month of March, so, we will use the present reading na 1,646 kilowatt hour. Ito yung class. And then, we will use the previous reading na 1,597, which is the reading in February. So, subtract it. 6 minus 7 cannot be, so we will borrow it from 4. So, 4 will become 3. And 1 will be transferred to 6. That makes it 16. So, 16 minus 7 is... Yes, that's 9. So, 3 minus 9 cannot be. So, we will borrow from 6. So 6 will become 5. And then, the 1 from 6 will be transferred to 3. So, that makes it 13. 13 minus 9 is 4. So, the total consumption of electricity for the month of March is 49 kilowatt hour. So, these are the different electrical consumption of Rowena's family for the month of January. February, and March. So, go back to the question. Number one, letter A. In what month did they have the highest electric consumption? 
So it would be easy na to answer this question kasi meron na tayong mga electrical consumption for 3 consecutive months. Ito nga yung January natin, 56 kilowatt hour. Yung February natin is 65 kilowatt hour. At saka yung March natin is 49 kilowatt hour. So based from the electrical consumption we solve, what is the answer for letter A? What is the highest electric consumption? What month? Yes, the answer is for the month of February because it has 65 kilowatt hour consumed. So the answer for number one is February. Ito yung final answer natin sa number one. So what's more part nyo? Next, let's have letter B in steel number one. What was the average monthly electric consumption of their family? So, pag sinabi nating average, we will add all the electrical consumption for 3 months. And after adding, we will divide it by 3. So, yan yung pagkuha ng average. So, we will do that. Okay, we will add first. So, 6 plus 5 plus 9, of course, it is 20. So, 0 here sa ibaba. And then, we will carry over yung 2 sa next na place value. So, 2 plus 5 plus 6 plus 4. How much is that? Yes, it's 17. Yung sum natin for, for the 3-month electric consumption of Rowena's family is 170 kilowatt hour. Hindi pa yan ang final answer kasi average ang ating kukunin. So, yung 170 natin, i-divide natin yan sa 3. Okay, divide natin yan sa 3. At yung quotient niyan would be 56.67 kilowatt hour. So, ito na yung final answer natin sa letter B in number 1. Ito yung average electric consumption for 3-month electric consumption of Rowena's family. Next, number 2. Below are water meter readings of 4 houses. So, water meter naman tayo class. Yung dalawang questions, which house has the lowest water consumption? And letter B naman, which house has the highest water consumption? Hindi natin ito masasagot class kung hindi natin makukuha yung water consumption each household. So kagaya sa number 1, kukunin na muna natin yung mga consumption for each household para madali nating masagutan yung mga questions dito sa letter A at saka sa letter B. Okay? So let's start solving the water consumption per household. So for household A, so, we will uh, use still present reading, which is 0, 7, 2, 4, 9. Ito yung class. Okay? So, isasubtract natin yung previous. Ito yun. 0, 7, 0, 5, 3. So, isasubtract na natin. 9 minus 3 is 6. Very good. Next, 4 minus 5 cannot be. So, we will borrow from 2. Ang 2 natin magiging 1. At saka yung 1 sa 2, lilipat natin sa 4. Magiging 14 na yan. 14 minus 5 is, yes, that's 9. 1 minus 0 is 1. So, hindi na natin yan ilalagay ang succeeding na sa difference kasi 0 na naman yung difference ng 7 minus 7 at saka 0 at saka 0. Uh, water consumption for household A is 196 cubic meter. So, let's have household B. So, yung present niya ay 05926. Isasubtract natin yung previous, which is 05534. So, 6 minus 4 ay, yes, it's 2. 2 minus 3 cannot be, so baro tayo sa 9. Yung 9 natin magiging 8, at saka yung 1 from 9 malilipat sa 2, magiging 12 na yan. So, 12 minus 3 is 9. So, 8 minus 5 naman ay, 3. So, 0 na yung mga succeeding na answer natin. So, no need to write it. So, yung consumption ng ating household B is 392 cubic meter. Next, go tayo sa house C. Yung present reading niya ay 06684. Yung previous reading niya ay 06493. So, isasubtract natin yan. 4 minus 3, of course, 1 lang yan. 8 minus 9, so cannot be. So, we will borrow sa 6. Ang 6 natin magiging 5. Yung 1 from 6, malilipat sa 8. At magiging 18 yan. 18 minus 9 is? 9. Very good. Nine. 5 minus 4 is? 
one. So, ang total water consumption for household C is 191 cubic meter. Household D naman. Yung present reading niya ay 04886. Subtract natin yung previous. We have 04496. Subtract natin 6 minus 6 is 0. 8 minus 9, of course, cannot be. So, ang 8 natin dyan, magiging 7. Ang 1 from 8, we will we will add 2 8 no? sa 10th place. And then, magiging 18 yan. 18 minus 9 is? Yes, that's 9. 7 minus 4 is? 3. So, yung total consumption ng water nila ay 390 cubic meter. Ito na yung mga uh, water consumption per household. Okay? So, madali na yung sasagutan yung uh, mga questions for number 2. So, which house has the lowest water consumption? Okay? So, balikan natin yung household A. So, 196. Yung household B is 392. Yung household C ay 191. Household D is 390. So, what is the lowest water consumption? What, Which house? Yes, obviously, it's house C. 191 lang yung nakonsumo nila na tubig. Next, letter B. Which house has the highest water consumption? Pinakamataas. Yes, it's household B with 392 cubic meters. So, yan na yung ating uh, final answer for number 2 para sa what's more part nyo. Okay, hanggang dito na muna ang ating discussion class. If you want to watch the next part of our video lesson, the what I can do part ng ating module 3 for your lesson 2, you can click the link above. Okay? Thank you so much. See you everyone.